How's it going, YouTubers? It is a wonderful Tuesday afternoon, and somebody's on their dirt bike driving around the neighborhood. I want to bring you a review today, and I've got a couple of reviews planned, and I'll show you my tool bag, and all sorts of stuff. Damn kids in their dirt bikes. Um, taking a little, there's going to be a little lapse in content as far as maintenance is and service and startups and stuff like that there'll be a little lapse in that content for now but I'll I'll, I'll get a I'll get on that as soon as I can so for today we're gonna do a nice review on one of my favorite tools that I that I have and that is the field piece uh, heated diode re refrigerant leak detector model number SRL8 comes in this nice fancy blow molded case pretty sturdy because if you drive a truck like I do it gets knocked around left and right a ton of stuff comes in this you have got this thing is jam-packed with all the features so let's go through what we got here obviously we've got field pieces uh, wonderful design the ergonomic design fits the hand very nicely this is the actual leak detecting unit um, it does take about 30 seconds to get warmed up it has a rechargeable battery inside that's good for, I think it's a 15 hour charge on it. So um, you could essentially do, you know, 15 hours worth of leak searches. Um, they say two full day, it's full work days worth of leak searches, which I don't know how long it takes somebody to do a leak search, but I don't think I could squeeze in, you know, eight or ten <laughs> leak searches in a day. Um, but this is um, a great tool. You've got the the uh, magnetic hanger on the back which is great for uh, the occasional time when you need to hang it up while you're doing something else um, like I said about 30 seconds to kick start it it's rechargeable it comes with both the wall charger and the car charger so you can charge it on the go uh, on top of this which is probably about uh, I don't know 14 or so inches 14 16 inches you've also got the 9 inch extension and the 9 inch wand which works very very well uh, personally I haven't really needed to use either extension thus far uh, I did have I did almost break it out for a very large Lennox unit um, for checking the condenser there but I haven't really had to use it much as far as operation we're gonna kick it on and because I'm gonna go ahead and um, use it on my condenser just behind us here to uh, to take a look and see how it works so let's uh, let's get it started up. Just holding it for one second, and it'll go through that process for about 30 seconds or so till it gets started. You can probably hear it getting that little sniffer ready. Um, it is three sensitivity levels: high, medium, and low. I think the minimum sensitivity is like 0.1 ounce per year uh, leak size. So it does get it, do, it can point, point, pinpoint some some pretty small leaks which is great you have the visual alert as well as the audio alert which you can probably hear right now because she's ready to go you can shut that audio alert off and it's auto zeroing so every two seconds it's gonna auto zero until um, until that leak is found so let's go ahead and oh here's the other thing you also get the replacement o-rings and filters and this uh, heated diode is supposed to last about five years which is great but I mean for the price of the heated diode I would probably replace it every year or two just to keep the sensitivity up so um, let's go ahead and walk over to my condenser and we're gonna take a look and see how she operates so there's a uh, here's how that magnet works She's uh, ticking away right now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you have to excuse how dirty this condenser is because I haven't uh, I haven't done the maintenance on it. Uh, the landlord hasn't wanted me to go ahead and take care of that for them. All right, so that one doesn't want to come off. That's all right though. Let's go ahead and give a sniff uh, just around here. Just to try to get this all in the shot. You can see we got a little slow leak around the Schrader.
And if we change that sensitivity level, we'll go down to medium and see. You know, it's still not much of a leak. It gives you pretty much right away that uh, it's not a heavy, heavy leak. It's a very light leak, so it's something we could probably take care of with just a, a new Schrader core. Check the rest of that out. Obviously, that's low sensitivity, but that's not going to do us much good. There's nothing picked up on medium, so back on high. And we got a little bit. So there's enough enough of a leak where we can see that uh, it's not terribly, a terribly large leak. There's enough of a leak there for us to pick up on. And because the auto zeroing is every two seconds, it's... You know, that lets me know there's a constant stream there, or a constant presence of refrigerator oil. So, let's back it up and look a little bit. So you can see, you've got audio, you can see it auto-zeroing every time it blinks, that's, that's it auto-zeroing. Constant blinking alerts, your sensitivity level, this lets you choose, you know, high, medium, and low. Uh, this will shut that, uh, you can battery check with it. That's your battery meter right there. You hold it down for one second, there's your battery meter. And you keep holding it down for a couple more seconds. And you'll get your, your clicks back. Okay. And you can manual zero, you hold that down, you can uh, set it for manual zeroing, but I choose to stick with uh, auto zero. And this also, you can use this to put the, uh, the wand or the extension kind of clipped up in here. And there you go. One second to power off, and she's all set to go. Um, so that is the field piece heated diode refrigerant leak detector. Again, model number SRL8. And um, honestly, I know a lot of guys are big fans of the the H10, and I think it's a it's a great tool. But for someone that's just looking for a uh, good leak detector that's not uh, going to break the bank. You know, had I had the money, I probably would have got an H10 PM, you know, get the uh, the battery-powered one, but uh, this one works just as well as I hoped it would, and I really do like field piece tools, so I'll probably stick with this for now, and I would definitely get another one, that's for sure. So, there it is, the heated diode refrigerant leak detector. Here's an up-close of uh, the inside of the blow-molded case. As you can see, the... Uh, the wand and the 9 inch extension fit in the top part of the case and the leak detector itself fits very nicely in here with this lead around and you've got the the uh, sorry, should be turned sideways with this stuffed in here but um, that fits wonderfully there the car charger right here the extra o-rings and, uh, and filters right there and Closes up very nicely, and then you're ready to roll. So that is uh, Field Pete's Pieces SRL8. If you're looking for a really good leak detector and you're a field piece person, this is definitely uh, a good one to go with. So hope you guys enjoyed the review.